United Way of Midland held its annual Power of the Purse giveaway right here in our studio tonight. Good evening. I'm Katie Orth. A dozen designer handbags were given away to benefit nonprofits around the basin. Big Two's Jake Eichstead joins us now live. So, Jake, how'd it go? Well, Katie, they say it went well. This is their fifth annual Power of the Purse event, but it's the first time that they did it virtually. And, and of course, it was hosted by our own Amanda Mason. They actually ended up raising $37,000 for these nonprofits. And because of the pandemic, United Way is saying that these organizations need the money more, maybe now, or now, maybe more than ever. I got a chance to see it all behind the scenes. We're hearing more and more the nonprofits in our area are struggling. They need help. And United Way Midland is answering the call. With most events canceled in 2020, Power of the Purse was originally set for in person in April. But United Way adapted and went virtual this October. Instead of having a speaker, they decided to play live bingo. Bingo! Yes! B6 was the winner. COVID has really thrown a kink in, you know, everybody's plans this year. They have a one-time grant for any nonprofit in Midland County. Power of the Purse event raises money for our one-time innovative grants. Um, nonprofits can apply the month of September and we award in October. And what that is, they can um, receive up to $15,000 for a one-time project. Organizations can apply for a one-time gift um, to receive COVID help as far as helping with operations and other additional expenses that they have incurred this year. And then also just the one-time innovative grants are for those special projects that can go for furniture upgrades, um, if they need to help fund operations as well, if they have a new staff member. Last year, eight organizations received the grants and used them to change lives. Basin Dream Center for Orphans was able to double their capacity and help young women aging out of foster care. And Safe Place at the Permian Basin, a shelter in Midland, was able to supply families in need with brand new mattresses and a commercial refrigerator. United Way says part of this money can be available to help organizations stay afloat during the coronavirus pandemic. What we have done through COVID to help some of our nonprofits is we've put into place a senior support program and um, we're finding that we have seniors within the community that can't get out. They need help getting groceries and um, their meds are getting to the doctor and back. If you know or are part of a nonprofit in need, the information to contact United Way will be on our website, yourbasin.com, as well as a senior hotline if you are or, again, know any seniors who have been in need of help during this pandemic. Reporting in the newsroom, Jake Eichstead, Big 2 News.